swear half the conversations I have with that girl are completely incomprehensible. Apparently, you have a inconvenient envelope. I'll just uh, redirected mail. Mm. Anything exciting? Not really. Let's get to work. Um, and to Gina, um, there isn't any rush, but I was just wondering when you'd have that money that I lent to you. Yes! Um, soon. Promise. <laughs> I mean, yesterday, she's at me throat one minute, and then the next, telling me I'm an asset to the surgery. Am I difficult to work with? I mean it. Be honest with me. No, of course you're not. It's that flipping moo you're in it. Snarling beast of Rosamond Street. Hey, be careful. She has got her spies everywhere. Not me, Liz. Window cleaner slash client confidentiality. <laughs> you see, I'd call her two first, but I don't think she even stops at two. Oh, well, well, you know, if you don't want to do it, then quit. And then what? You wouldn't be happy if I'm just moping round you all day. Well, you never know. Today might be one of them good days. Good work. Well done. Thank you. Hi. Hey, your Auntie Jean is just 100 quid. Really? I'm not making a fuss, are we? Oh. Well, congratulations. <gasps> you gave me a shock. Do you know, Auntie Junior, if I didn't know better, I'd say you was avoiding me. Don't be daft. Why would I do that? Because you owe me £88 and I've just seen your pocket an hundred quid bonus. I am shocked you should even think that. And you a Christian. Oh. God will not be smiling on you tonight. Please, can I have my money? I suppose you'd be charging me interest and all. No, no. Just the £88 that you owe me. I don't know why you look so glum. You've still got 12 quid left. I'm not glum. I'm counting. Oh. 85. You owe me 88. 